Eric Blackman Music. Hi, in this video I will show you an easy way to improve your speed using a guitar pick. This is a basic exercise that anyone can do. The guitar is tuned standard E-A-D-G-B-E. -E. Just about any pick will do, but I'm using a heavy pick, something that won't bend when I'm trying to make my picking strokes. I'm going to take my finger up to the B string, 10th fret, and I'm going to play an A. And what we're going to do is take the pick, the very tip of the pick, place it on the string, and we're going to gently strum downward. But we're not going to travel very far with the pick. We want to minimize pick travel. We want to pick the string and pretty much wind up on the other side of the string. So not like this, but more like this. I've got my palm set on the bridge and I'm using my wrist to go down and up with my pick. I'm not using my arm. I'm using just my hand and moving down and up, down and up, barely tipping the string on the edge. I've got the very tip of my pick resting against the string and I'm going to play and then come back up moving very little like that and I want to increase my speed slowly let's start slowly down up down up very little pick travel we're going to start very slowly down, up, down, up. Slowly increasing the speed as we practice. Now that we know what we want to do, we're going to put on a band in the box backing track that I put together and play along with it so the exercise is not so boring. We'll start out with quarter notes. We'll go down, up, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, like that. So let's play along with the track, practicing that way to see what it'll sound like. Next, we'll do that same picking exercise playing eighth notes. So that's going to be one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Let's play that along with our track and see what that sounds like. Now let's pick it up a little bit and we'll be playing 16th notes. They'll sound like this.
All right, now that we've got this going, let's see if we can't get the left hand involved. We're going to go to fret 8 and play fret 8, fret 9, and fret 10. We're going to play that with the down up picking. Here we go. So now the pick is alternating between the notes because we only have three notes here and we have four beats. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You see that? So if we're doing quarter notes, it's going to be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Let's play that against our backing track. Let's do our exercise with eighth notes. Here we go. Let's try it with sixteenth notes. Here we go. Now what we'll do is use this picking technique to move from one string to another. We'll start with the B string and we'll play fret 8, fret 9, fret 10, and then we'll move to the E string, fret 8, fret 9, fret 10, in this way. So now our picking pattern is down, up, down, next string, down, up, down, back to the B string, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Now we're alternating. Let's try that with our backing track playing quarter notes. Now let's try it playing eighth notes.
Now here's our real test. We'll be playing 16th notes and we'll have to keep this pattern tight in order to keep up with the tempo. We're going to have to keep our up and down picking tight and close to the string so that we don't have a lot of pick travel. It'll be played this way. there you go. That's an easy picking exercise that you can work on at your own pace and build your picking speed. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day.